Hello and welcome. I would like to read to you a portion of scripture, the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 14. The word of the Lord tells us, it says, For the love of Christ constraineth us, because we thus judge that if one died for all, then we're all dead. Wow, this is very powerful. It says the love of Christ constraineth us. In other words, the love of Christ compels us. The love of Christ compels us. The love of Christ motivates us. The love of Christ is the reason we do what we do. I'd like to ask you, why do you do what you do? You know, sometimes it, it's amazing that we do what we do, good works, of course, but for, for, for bad reasons, you know. Well, not necessarily bad reasons, but reasons that are not really tangible before God. And you see, the Bible tells us that God himself is love, and therefore he wants everything done motivated by love. In fact, everything God does is motivated by love. The Bible tells us in the book of John chapter 3, verse 16, the familiar scripture, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That's very powerful. It tells us that for God so loved the world, and his love compelled him, his love motivated him, his love constrained him to do something. He stepped into our world in the person of Jesus Christ. Now, guess what? The love of God is what changes us. You see, we'll never be the same when we experience the love of God. And that's why the Paul, Apostle Paul is speaking here by the Spirit. He says, for the love of Christ constraineth us. In other words, we are compelled, we are moved by this love. We are moved into action. You see, if you say you love and there's no action to it, it's not love. Because Bible love always carries, always goes with action. Like we see the Father himself ex exemplifying to us. He says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And guess what? When he gave Jesus Christ, he gave his all because of love. And that's powerful. That tells you that love is the greatest motivation in the kingdom of God. From time to time, it's important you ask yourself the question, why do I do what I do? Yes, there are good works. Yes, somebody is being blessed. Yes, somebody is happy about it. But then, what's my motivation? Am I just doing it so that it, it's just going to appear, oh, David is doing a nice job? No, there should be a higher motivation. And that is the love of God itself. The love of God, in, in fact, the, the word of God tells us that God is love. And that's powerful. He says, for the love of Christ motivates us. It compels us. It constrains us. And that should be the reason why you preach the gospel. Yes, I understand that we have a mandate from the Lord to go into the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Yeah, it's important we do that, but it's also better, in, I mean, it's also important that we, we do it in the spirit of love. We go out and see the lost, those who are not born again. We don't just look at them and say, oh, I wish something is done. No, no, you reach out with the love of God. You don't just preach the gospel to them because you believe that, well, Jesus says to go and preach. No, that's good. But God wants you to do it in the spirit of love. You know, I'm yet to find someone who doesn't respond to love. Every individual responds to love. And when they see love, they recognize it. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. I think it's time for us to also begin to love the world in that sense. Of course, the Bible says, love not the world, neither are the things of the world. Now we're talking about the people in the world. You see, if you don't love people, you can't reach them. You know, sometimes I see people who say, well, I don't love the Muslim folks. I mean, these guys are bad, they are violent, they are all that. You see, if you don't love them, you can't reach them. If you, you see, if you don't love a man, you are powerless towards that man. But when you love, you have a great influence because love attracts. So when you step out next time to preach the gospel, don't just go into the people's world with a sense of duty. I've got to preach to this one. I've got to preach to this one. I've got to preach to this one. Yes, all that is good. But then do it with love. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, today I go out and I reach out with your love. I just want to go out and love on people. Guess what? You're going to see a greater result. You know, when we even talk about pre preaching the gospel with the power of God, you know, being manifested through the gospel, healing, miracles, you discover that the Lord Jesus Christ, you know, the picture we see of the Lord Jesus Christ, whenever he was moved with compassion, miracles happened. I believe that that is the strongest uh, uh, way we can release the power of God when we just go to love on people. I'm praying for him. I'm not trying to just prove that I, I'm a healing evangelist or something. No, I'm praying for him because I know that the love of God is towards him and God wants to reach out to him and bring healing to his body. And if that's my motive, guess what? The power of God is going to be made manifest. The power of God is going to be released through me to touch that individual because the love of God is the heart of God and God always responds to his love. Glory to God. I want to encourage you today. 
Don't do evangelism just like every other person. Don't just do it the way you've been doing it before. Let the love of God be your new motivation. From today onward, just have it in mind. I want to love on people. And possibly you've never prayed the gospel to someone before. You know, the easiest way to pray the gospel to people is to go in the spirit of love. You're not going to have to say, oh, what am I going to say? Or what am I, how do I approach it? No, that love is going to show you how. That love is going to motivate you. And when you step into their world in love, the miracle will happen. I want to encourage you today, make this your mandate. Everything I do for the Lord, everything I do for the kingdom of God, everything I do for every human will be motivated by the love of God. Let's pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, today I pray for this one watching and I declare by your spirit, may we have a baptism of love. May we be enveloped once again with your love. You said for the love of Christ constraineth us and that should be our motivation. And so Lord, I ask, oh Lord, that you help us in whatever we do, that we shall not be motivated by selfishness and selfish desires, but let your love be our motivation, and may we live for this cause. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thanks for tuning in once again. We have great episodes coming next. You'll be so blessed by them. God bless you.